Hi guys, last one I promise. So here I am, back going down south, back towards Waterloo. Now behind me, this incredible structure here is St. Martin in the Fields. And St. Martin in the Fields is a staple of um, the centre of London. This beautiful structure was built in nine, uh, 1726 or something like that. And after John Nash, who I talked about before, the architect, I think it's a Jack Shepherd. Jack Shepherd called it the Church of the Ever Open Door, and it's remained that way since World War I. Ooh, ambulance is going. City life. Um, so people used to go in there, the soldiers used to go in there, the hurt and the wounded um, during World War I. And so Jack Shepherd called it the Ever Opening Door, and it has remained open ever since. Now, um, it's an amazing place. Uh, beautiful structures you can see, but it, um, it's got a complete um, floor underneath it, which is stone that's been worn away by years and years and years of people walking on it, this smooth stone. And inside there, they do quartets, they do concerts, there's a whole restaurant down there, and it's deep, deep in the bowels of the building. Um, so you'd never really know about it, but I've seen some incredible chamber concerts there, um, by candlelight. So if you ever do get to London, St. Martin in the Fields, go and see a concert by candlelight because it's incredible. And behind me, St. Martin in the Fields, that must mean I'm at Trafalgar Square. So Trafalgar Square, everyone knows this one. Now this one here, completely desolate now. It used to be completely full of pigeons when I was a little girl. And the thing to do was that you um, came and you let the pigeons uh, stand on you. And uh, you don't do that anymore. They got rid of all the pigeons. But as you can see, it's pretty empty still. It's still a pretty awesome place to be. And what's brilliant is that as the lights go down, whatever city you're in, other lights come up. And it always looks fantastic. Fountain there in the blue. And obviously the um, column there. And then the other side of me is, of course, we go the other way, the Portrait Gallery, National Portrait Gallery, incredible place. So you've got St. Martin in the Fields, Trafalgar Square, National Portrait Gallery, um, all in the same place, really easy to get around London. Um, literally one opposite the other. And that was St. Martin in the Fields that you could just hear there. National Portrait Gallery, really worth going to. Um, all the historical paintings that you've seen in your life, there's probably a version or the version in here. So, as I say, there's a giant ice cream there for some reason. I have no idea why. But yeah, it's a brilliant time of the evening. And if you can catch London when it's not raining and this at dusk, it's pretty beautiful. Um, we still, uh, as you can see, we've still got the old uh, oil lamps here, street lamps. It just looks incredible at this time of night. So um, anyone who hasn't been here before, go to the National Gallery. That's not, not Portrait Gallery, the National Gallery. And then if you go from there, you'll be pretty much um, be able to see so many things. And if you look across Trafalgar Square, oh, that's behind me, sorry. That way, if I kept walking this way, I'd get to the Houses of Parliament. Um, and all those governmental buildings, governmental, governmental, Oh my God, I sound like AD. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, right back down behind me. And actually, I think I might walk that way because that will take me back to the river at the same time. So, you look at the skyline. Really beautiful tonight. So that's my next stop. So I'm heading down to Waterloo, from which I'll be getting a train again. I've never seen London like this, you see. It's for people that are constantly, uh, when there's someone constantly behind you, constantly walking or coming up against you, or you just see a sea of people, to even have this much space, this much room, to see London in this way, you only get, get to see it at dawn like this, London. And gone are the days when I used to do the walk of shame home at dawn. So for me, it's incredible to see. Um, I might walk down that way and then um, just show you the London skyline.